Good morning, and welcome to all who have gathered here this morning as we celebrate Easter. Happy Easter to everyone. We begin with our joys and our concerns. Are there any that you would like to share? Seeing none, I invite you to stand as able for the brief order of confession and forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, we confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, and we have not loved you as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for you, and for his sake God forgives you all of your sins. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become the children of God and bestows on them the Holy Spirit. There is a change in our opening hymn this morning. It is number 128. Okay. Let's start that one again. Never mind. The hymn of the day has been changed to number 128. <laughs> but right now we're going to sing 150.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. be with you. Let us pray. Oh God, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross for our revenge. And by his glorious resurrection, you delivered us from the power of death. Make us statues of sin, so that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection. Through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated for the reading of his word. Good morning. Good morning. The first reading this morning is a reading from the 10th chapter of Acts. Peter began to speak to the people. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. 
All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Here ends the reading. The psalm this morning is Psalm 118, various verses. I will read the light print if you will please respond with the bold. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Um, of of the, right. the right hand of the Lord has triumphed. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness, and I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. He who is righteous may enter. I will give thanks to you for your answer to me, and to have become my salvation. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. The second lesson this morning is from the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians. Now I would remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaim to you, which you in turn received, in which you also stand, through which you also are being saved. If you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you, as of the first importance, what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one ultimately born, he appeared also to me, for I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me has not been in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we proclaim, and so you have come to believe. Here ends the reading. Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 16th chapter. When the Sabbath day was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, brought spices so that they might go and anoint Jesus' body. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. And they had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us at the entrance of the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the gospel of our Lord. You may be seated. And I'm going to ask our young people to take up the noisy offering before they get started. Good job, man. Take a 
of that. This morning's skit is called But Sunday's Coming. And there's Good Friday, and then there's Easter Sunday. And then there's the day in between, filled with waiting, grieving, and just plain not understanding. This is a one act, illustrating both the biblical Passion Week, Saturday, and the days when we struggle to understand God's time. So this morning we have present day, Kennedy is Tara, and she's a new mother. And Dan is her husband. Over here, we have Marcus, who is Olivia. And he, she, is a new recruit from the Roman Empire. And then Max is Roberta, which is also an experienced, seasoned Roman soldier. And they will be at the tomb. Caleb is going to be Michael. He is a follower of Jesus during Jesus' time. Reagan is Becca. She's also a follower of Jesus, and she is Michael's wife. And then I will be playing Mary, the, also a follower of Jesus during Jesus' time. Ready now? Marcus? Oh, hey. I asked if you were heading out. Nope, just getting here. You and me then, huh? You're calling us a two-man job? They've got guys on the other side, too. Ha. Ah, well, no complaints here. I could use any easy post for once. Last night, I had some lunatic at the prison. He spent the whole night spitting and calling down curses in Greek. Sounds like fun. I'm like whipped. Whipped? Whipped. Beat. You look beat. That's one way to put it. What? You're right. I'll sleep it off tomorrow. You worked last night too? No, just had a long day. Ah, uh, welcome to the graveyard shift. Sounds like a party. 
It's a waste. It's what it is. I've been doing this 20 years and I can tell you this is a one man job. This could be a half man job. I'd be good with going somewhere else. You okay? Yeah. You were at the hearing yesterday, weren't you? And the sentencing. Rough crowd. I've never seen riots like that before. The first one's always the worst. You'll toughen up. It's not what I expected. You'll get used to it. It won't be your last, believe me. I know. World's falling apart, kid. People are getting crazier every day. That's why we're here. I guess. It's why we're here. So two of us can spend 12 hours watching a rock. And that's our taxes at work, folks. What did you expect? More justice. You wanted him to be innocent, huh? I don't know. I didn't want him to be guilty. I remember watching my first trial. I wanted all of them to be innocent. I saw his mother. First mistake, never look at the mother. She was sure he was innocent. A lot of people were sure he was innocent. And a lot of people wanted him out of the way. Are we sure we made the right? Don't go there. We don't decide justice. We execute it. Execute it. That was a fast trial, Max. A really fast trial. That's not your issue. Don't let the job get to you. You put your boots on, you do what you have to do, and you go home. You're right. Let's just get this over with. Where have you been? We've been going crazy worrying about you. My trip went long, and then I had I had a meeting. What? You travel overnight on business way too much as it is. And then after a disaster like yesterday, you stayed for a meeting? Becca, you need to let me explain. I know it sounds... Yesterday was awful. I was already behind on the holiday work. There's something I have to tell you. But if that wasn't stressful enough, then we were alone during that earthquake. Becca, you'll understand if you just let me. Yes, I know what to do in an earthquake, but I don't ever remember an earthquake with the solar eclipse at the same time. No one knew what was going on. We thought the world was ending. The table shaking, it's pitch black, and I was over there wailing away, and the boys are screaming at the top of their lungs. I'm wondering if the house is going to come down on our heads, or if you're in a ditch somewhere. First, I'm sorry you were alone, but I need you to listen to me. And we spent today picking up the pieces, literally, literally, surface. It to say, dinner's not ready, and you better check that back wall because there's a fracture in the corner about the size of your face. Becca, he's dead. Pull it together. I said, pull it together. That's better. And maybe if you had been able to pull it together a little sooner, you, would have, you wouldn't have had to stand so far back. You wouldn't have watched helpless like everyone else. And after all he did for you, you did nothing. How could you? No, no, you couldn't have stopped it, but you could have offered some, some, I don't know, something, reassurance, comfort. Not that you had any to give. You should have at least gotten close enough to look him in the eye. Close enough to see him, really see him one last time. I haven't felt like this in years. Helpless, paralyzed, like a caged animal about to jump out of my skin. God, help me. This isn't me anymore, right? The old me doesn't come back just because he's gone. No, I can't go back to my old life. Back to hearing things and seeing things no one should have had to hear or see. Every day was a nightmare. No, no, I'm not who I was. After I met him, it all changed. I changed. I'm not that broken, tormented person anymore. I belong to him. 
or I did, but he's gone. Where does that leave me? Who am I now? I think he's always screaming his brain out. Actually, I think he's a fighting now. Right, he went to a war line and screaming my Exactly. That's not quite a doubt. Maybe it's his nine times line down. Why is my dinner? He's going down the food chain. Sick. We've still got ten minutes. This is torture. I feel like it's my job's mother to save him. From what? A good night's sleep? Here ten more minutes. You might suffocate by that. Judging by that spelling of things, it's over. Just that he doesn't understand why we let him die. You want to go to the I tried that. You stood over the crib and explained the impact of sleep on the new arrival of the development of a three month old. I could not believe that would happen. You still got nine minutes. Hey, Mom. Sorry, I thought you were going to No, she hasn't come with you. Though not much, Dan's holding me hostage after some screams for his life. I'm surprised you came here. It's like he's being tortured. He's just exercising his long tail. Yep, I have the salad all ready to go and I'll bring the pot. The Easter service will be over by here, so we'll be at your house when they go to one. Yes, I brought a feed. I'll be sure to deliver in this Easter basket tomorrow morning to ensure the family tradition. <laughs> I'll let you know what he thinks. Video it? Um, I'll see if my phone will do that. Not promising anything. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Seven minutes. Let's go to laundry. I ask you when you write. I'm trying to distract us. I'm distracted. Six minutes. A graveyard shift in an actual graveyard. This has got to be a first. Look on the bright side. Guarding a dead man equals a pretty dead shift. Get it? Dead shift? You're going to be lots of fun to talk to tonight. <gasps> Who's then? No. No, that can't be. They wouldn't. He wouldn't. They did. Are you saying they actually tried to execute him like a common criminal? That's insane. They didn't try to execute him. They did execute him. That's not possible. You said last week they were looking for some kind of loophole, right? Because they were pushing for the death of penalty? Yes, that's what I said. But... You said they couldn't find anything legal to get him on. There isn't anything. They can't just kill an innocent man. It's completely unjust. I don't understand how they could go through with it. But God would never let him die. You said God chose him. You said he was changing everything. I know. I know I said that. So there has to be some kind of mistake. I met with some of the others to talk legalities, that kind of thing. There are a lot of complications with the holiday. Joseph went to the governor, and it sounds like they worked something out. Worked what out? The burial. That's ridiculous. He can't actually be dead. They drove nails through his hands. They put a spear through his side. He was beaten and bloody. He wasn't even recognizable. They crucified him. I was there, Becca. I was there. He's dead. It's over. Now, irony? Sure. Knock yourself out. Do you know what you're going to do tomorrow? Hang on, we're last one. Can't wear the same outfit you did Friday. Sorry, Becca. Why not? I'm not going to do a good suit. Plus, it's over 24 hours. It's going to be a good Friday. It's over 24 hours. Hey, Mom. Yeah, Becca. Hey, God says 24 hours between Good Friday and Easter Sunday. So men could wear the same thing to church in the morning. I'm sure that was the reason. Well, then why else would we just lie on the next Saturday morning? That's a good point. Uh huh. God 
about you as guys this week? No, I mean, have you ever thought about that? Why do you think you rise from the dead on Saturday? <coughs> his disciples were scared of death, his friends confused, his mother must have been a wreck. And why let him cry it out for 24 hours? Why the way you I don't know. Maybe it's beyond our understanding. Maybe. You just said that you told Brayden why we're letting him cry. He didn't understand you. But that doesn't mean you don't have a reason. I don't understand. Why do they have posts on every side? They think there's going to be some kind of counterattack, don't they? Religious freaks, protesters, disciples might try to steal the body. But hey, if they're those scrawny guys who bolted right at the beginning, I'd send half of us home. At least half. Good. I've already killed my share of criminals this weekend. Hang in there, kid. Weekend's almost over. Sunday's coming. Nothing, huh? I'm a lot of help. Yelling at my reflection? I'm going crazy. The whole world is going crazy. Pull it together, Mary. Pull it yourself together. You have a job to do. It's the least you can do. After everything he did for you, he deserves a real burial. One that honors who he was. Who he is. He can't really be gone. He can't. He was supposed to make it all to fix... He was the Messiah. He is the Messiah. God, how can this be part of your plan? A few hours, it'll be time to go to the tomb. Almost Sunday, Mary. You have to sleep. You have to try to sleep. Now what? We keep believing. In what? In God. He's got to have a plan. A plan that includes killing the Messiah? What kind of plan is that? I don't know. Maybe Jesus wasn't the... He was. He was supposed to redeem Israel. I don't know what went wrong. Just one day at a time, okay? The children are in bed. We should get some sleep, too. How do we tell the kids? We'll have to tell them in the morning. One day at a time. Let's just get through tonight. God's mercies are new every morning. Even tomorrow morning? I'm not so sure. His mercies are new Friday and today, and they will be new Sunday. Let's just keep the faith tonight. Rise and shine, little man. Did you get a good night's sleep? Saturday's done. No more crying. Now I invite you to sing one for the
invite you to stand as able as we profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Rejoicing that Jesus is risen and love has triumphed over fear, let us pray for the church, the world, and all those in need of good news. Holy God, we pray for the body of Christ, the church, where the church is persecuted, protect it, where the church is privileged, granted humility, where the church is fractured, heal it. Guide us all to embody Christ's love in the world. God of grace. Life-giving God, we pray for the earth, your good creation. Join our prayers with the branches lifted in praise and the roaring waters of new life that together we may proclaim the Easter hope. God of grace. Merciful God, we pray for all peoples and nations, free oppressed communities from occupation, exploitation, and abuse. Teach leaders your way of justice. Empower peacemakers and all who work in violence and strife. God of grace. Liberating God, you pray for people we pray for people everywhere who long for the good news. Roll away the stones that keep people from living with dignity and wholeness. Breathe new life and hope into people struggling to make it through each day. God of grace. Loving God, we pray for this community of faith and for the spirit in the midst of us. Feed us at your Easter table and fill us with your vision that we may serve and care for others. God of grace. Eternal God, we remember those who have gone before us in death. Renew our trust in your promises that we may live with joyful courage and compassion. God of grace. Into your hands, most merciful God, we commend all for whom we pray. Trusting in your abiding love through Jesus Christ, our resurrected and living Lord. May the peace of Christ be with you all. I invite you to share that peace with those around you.
Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, maker of all things. Through your goodness you have blessed us with these gifts. With them we offer ourselves to your service and dedicate our lives to the care and the redemption of all that you have made. For the sake of him who gave himself for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places offer thanks and praise to you, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and ever-living God. But chiefly, we are bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of our Lord. For he is the true Passover Lamb, who gave himself to take away our sin, who by his death has destroyed death and by his rising has brought us to eternal life. And so, with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join in their unending hymn. he was betrayed our Lord Jesus to bread. He blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again after supper, he took the cup, and he gave thanks, and he gave it to all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Come to the feast for all is now prepared. This is the body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The blood of Christ shed for you.
Stand. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Let us pray. Shepherding God, you have prepared a table before us and nurtured us with your help. As for Jesus. Jesus, Redeemer and Friend. Alleluia, Christ has risen. The God of resurrection power, the Christ of unending joy, and the spirit of Easter hope bless you now and always. You may be seated for the announcements. Uh, following this service, there is breakfast in the parish hall um, on Thursday, we again work at the Assistance Center. On Saturday evenings, there is worship at 6, Sunday mornings, worship at 9, followed by Sunday school. On Wednesday, April the 10th, Parish Ed will meet at 6. And on the 14th uh, at 1 o'clock, the kids have their last confirmation class before they take their final. I'm sure they're all looking forward to the 14th. Um, Streaming is available on uh, YouTube. Uh, there's still some shirts back in the back that are from Christmas if you'd like one. I think they're large youth and small adults. Um, they're 17 bucks. There's a mowing schedule in the back. Also, a sheet where you can list your favorite songs as we will, favorite hymns, as we will be singing favorite hymns during the summer months. In the way of birthdays. I have Lena Turwilp on the 31st, Don Hummer on the 2nd of April, and Lauren o Oldenburg on the 6th. We're going to sing to Lauren. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lauren. Happy birthday to you. And I don't see any anniversaries for the coming week. Our closing hymn is number 144. Good Christian friends, rejoice and sing.
before I dismiss you, um, let's do the table prayer. Do be present at our table, Lord. Be present at our table, Lord. Be here and everywhere, Lord. These mercies bless and grant that we may strengthen for the service Go in peace to serve the Lord. <laughs>